Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today I have some important tips for you with regards to using your YOLO box for recording. Now, the YOLO box is a fantastic live streaming tool, but if you're not connected to the internet, you can still use it for recording. And when you're recording, the YOLO box gives you a couple different options. And I wanna walk you through those right now. The first thing is when you are going to record, there's two different ways you can record. You can record either in monitor mode or in streaming mode. You can record in both. Streaming is not just for streaming. And a lot of people don't realize that. You can do just recording. So let's look at that first. We're gonna create just a streaming event. And there are reasons why you would wanna do this. For, foremost, done, is that a streaming event allows you to bring in remote guests because it, it understands, it expects that you're gonna have a live connection to the internet. So let me open this streaming event here. And if I come over here to people, now I can invite remote guests. And this is a fantastic feature. So you can have that discussion. You can do things that you can't do in monitor mode because you're in streaming mode and it is it the YOLO box understands that you have a live connection to the internet, so it's going to use that. Now, one of the things that you need to be aware of though is in, in when you're in streaming, your encoding setting is going to be lower than if you're in monitor mode. So if you are in streaming mode, you watch like this, I'm going to stop at 8,000 kilobits or eight megabits a second at 1080p. If I change my setting to 720p, it's going to top out at 2000 or two megabits a second. Those are your top data rates because it expects that you're going to try and stream this over the internet. And while you could record 720p at five or eight or 50, it's not really going to give you a much different quality level than if you just recorded at two. Now, if you want to record higher, that is where you would use monitor mode. So let us back out of this. We're going to create a new event and we're going to just going to use on the right there, monitor mode, select that. Now you notice down there at the bottom right here, Remote guests is not available when you're in monitor mode. Obviously you don't have streaming destinations, but this also becomes grayed out because you can't select remote guests because it assumes you don't have a connection to the internet. But now when we come over here to our encoding setting right here, we're gonna click on that. You see right now I'm at 10,000. I'm at 1080p, let me see that. Yeah, I'm at 1080p right there and I'm at 10,000, but wait, now, if I wanted to, I can go all the way to 50,000. That's much higher. Now, I understand that some people want to make sure they give the recordings the most quality possible. That's why there's monitor mode, so that you can record these things at 50 megabits a second. And if you're in 720p, let's switch to that, you can see I have... 12 megabits a second in 720p, which is more than enough for a 720p signal. The other really important thing to remember when you're recording is to wait for the recording to finish. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got this thing set up 1257. Let me go up back up to 1080p. I'm going to bring it down. I usually do these shows at 10 megabits a second. So I'm going to hit record. So you can see I've got this thing recording. The recording light is right here. I've been recording for 50 seconds. Now I'm going to hit the record to make it stop. And it says, you want to stop the recording? I'm going to say done. Don't take your card out yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now the recording was saved successfully. I see a lot of people. Okay, not a lot of people. I see some people. They are very anxious to get that recording somewhere else and start editing it immediately, or they need to swap cards, or they need to hand off the video. And what they do is they hit stop. They think they're done. They take the card out. The problem is 
what the device needs to do is the device needs to wrap that file and say, this is an MP4 video file. It is this long. It is this, that type of header information needs to be written onto the file, onto that clip before you can read it in some other device. And if you take the card out before you have got that finished writing successfully alert at the bottom of the screen, if you take the card out too fast, that other stuff isn't written and that file it could be the only file if it's if you haven't been recording for very long, or it will be the last file of a series of clips that you record in succession. That file will not be readable on a computer. So make sure you wait for that little alert that comes at the bottom of the screen and make sure it's finished writing successfully. I usually give it a good 15 second count. And even after that goes away, I let it wait a little bit more and then I'll take the card out. I hope this tip has helped you get the most out of your YOLO box today. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.